Lady Circle. And today our guest for the evening is Shali Abusi. She's joining us to get into all of the juicy conversation that is to unfold on the show. So let's get stuck straight in. Now, one issue that has taken social media by storm is a, a story concerning a social media influencer, Ama Governor, and her quest to becoming a lawyer. Well, a, a seemingly concerned citizen made their gripes known to the Ghana Law School and indicated that uh, they didn't think that Ama Governor's conduct was befitting of a lawyer. They cited things such as her dressing, her personal preferences, and the like. This evening, we're delving into the issue about what happens when our private life comes at odds with our professional life. Is it fair that certain classes of people are discriminated from pursuing their passions based on what they do in the comfort of their own homes? Charlie, I'm going to come to you on this one. You're from uh, an entirely different jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of thing that maybe in your part of the world could fly. You're able to have um, a social life, have different interests, vastly contrasted with maybe your chosen profession. But you're allowed to do both simultaneously, be yourself and also help others. What do you make of this? Do you have a more conservative view? Or do you think Amma Governor deserves to be a lawyer just like anybody else? Well, I think... Um that to become a lawyer is not just about passing exams mm. or to, um, you know, be, being called to the bar. It also comes with a responsibility that you have as, as a function, as a lawyer, you, you're supposed to be seen as a very respectable person. And the way she conducts herself, I, I think it's very important because mm. you have that function in, in, in law is a serious matter. So if you cannot take yourself serious and behave yourself in such a way, that people can show you that respect as a lawyer, then I think it's, it's not the profession for you. Mm, I see. It's interesting. Ladies, I'm coming to you. There was a time when if you wore an anklet, you had a certain tag. Yeah. If you had more than one piercing, you were unserious. If you were a gentleman, for example, and your hair wasn't very short, we <laughs> thought you had nothing to offer. Or oh, God forbid you have a tattoo and you're condemned. <laughs> what does, does this person have to offer? Are we still stuck in our ways? Or do you think it's time for us to make room to accommodate the different types of personalities that we have? I, I will say what Shelley says about the law profession being serious is one we can't ignore from the conversation. I entirely agree. But I just want to elevate the conversation and think about the people that you know in your own life that are a little bit different to the norm. If the person isn't hurting anybody, they're a little bit quirky, a little bit different to mm. society's norms. We all know people like that. Mm. Doctors with long hair, dreadlocks, tattoos but they do their work and they do it fantastically. Why is that a barrier? I want to know. Let me take it from a part of the world. Sure. When it comes to Ghana, um, you go to certain parts of the country, it's even more serious. Mm. There are certain parts where they think that you don't even have to get more than one piercing. Some people do not even like the whole idea of piercing your ears. Sure. That is what they believe in. Mm. Some people also do not like dreadlocks at all. Some people see that. I mean, entering a doctor's office and seeing that the doctor has dreadlocks, they are like, who? Ebuka, mm. the Nigerian um, TV presenter, initially I didn't know he had tattoos, and I, and I know he's a lawyer. Mm. There was a time he did a photo shoot, and then he revealed a bit of the tattoos, and he has mm. piercings and all of that. And then I checked some of the comments, and people were like, since when? Mm. Some people were very disappointed in the fact that someone like him had tattoos, and his tattoos are very visible, big, and all of that. I remember when I was in school, even GIJ, yeah, where in the university you are allowed to wear whatever you want to wear and all of that. I had people from lecturers to students who constantly were not happy about the fact that, oh, she dresses too much, mm. meaning she's not serious. Mm. I'm coming for lectures. I wear heels. I will dress well, make sure that I look the part. Or dress it too much into a new serious. Oh, we cried our bone. You know, it comes with the terrain we find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. She may go elsewhere and then people will accept her for who she is. I do not judge. And whatever anybody decides to do with their life, that is up to them. But you also have to consider the terrain you find yourself. Because every single thing you do, it has repercussions. Mm. And you may think that, oh, I'm living my life. I'm doing what pleases me. But at the end of the day, the institution will try and teach you a lesson. Mm. And it will be a bitter one. Mm. That's what I have to say. Well, I don't know, well, I'll come to you, but before that, uh, the Chief Justice, newly appointed C.J. Tokonu, waded into the matter. This is how big it is.
Let's take a listen to what she had to say about this issue. So for you to come into our space and to come into the space of the legal sector, your conduct cannot be obscene and offensive and you expect that you'll be admitted. It doesn't work like that. Your comments on social media, your ex parte communications for judges is extremely critical. I don't know, Ella, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, seriously? Oh, my days. Oh, my days. See. Um, I mean, very, very much so what, you know, Anita and Shelly said initially, because we're, we're in a space where we don't even know our stance yet on the whole LGBTQ issue. Mm. You know, that's, that's one side of it. So getting into a space, like they said, there, there are certain things that govern. We know that the law, the law space is a very exclusive space. It's a very respectable space. And so Allegedly. the last thing... Well, what do you mean allegedly? Well, I, say, you have, I say, I say uh, allegedly because oh, no, no, I put no, it to no, you no. that you, ma, you can put it to me, and it I is a respectable. Listen, space. I say allegedly, and I don't know. Well, I'm only slight hacking you here uh -huh. because there are other instances that we have been made aware of, and I don't have all my full facts, so I don't want to misquote anybody. The stats are not in. The stats <laughs> are not there. <laughs> the not there. Uh -huh. In other instances where we've seen other students, mm. males, commit all types of different um, infractions, mm. we've heard about sexual abuse, mm. we've heard about theft, we did not see that same energy being directed towards being called to the bar. Mm. As a people, I'm sorry, we have very hypocritical ways. The things that huh. we deem are more okay. of, a, of an infraction than others for uh -huh. me, blows my mind. It blows my mind. But I don't know a lot. Small fact. I mean, like you said, you have the, the facts are not any yet. We don't mm. know the kind of circumstances mm -hmm. that surround we'll those issues know. that happen. We'll, we'll never be very know. careful. But talking yeah. about... I'm a, I, 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 lawyers, please, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I tried Your to, Honor. Your Honor. I tried to find out, you know, some of the reasons why people have been denied calling to the bar. You mm. can see very simple reasons, like you know, grammatical errors in the the, the presentations. Very, very, you know simple things that he could have avoided. You know, some of them didn't even present proper stories, you know, to all the, even some of them made mistakes and the, the people that co they called for referencing, they didn't even reference them properly. Mm. So you could see that there are lots of detailing that they take into, you know, picking people and calling people to the bar. Mm -hmm. Now with, I also tried to search for some of the things that they consider. And you sure. can see that social media is something that they do, you even have to mm -hmm. submit your, all your social media accounts yeah. to them. Mm. Now the issue here, from what we read, is not really, her stance on what it is. It's about how she puts it out there on yeah. social media. Mm -hmm. You go onto her YouTube page and she's telling you, you know, how some of her, you know, relationships have gone, running you through, you know, the process and all mm -hmm. of that. And to them, they believe that, you know, if you're going to be a lawyer, if you're going to come mm -hmm. into the space and people are going to be pinpointing you at you for certain things yes. like this, it's a sort of questionable thing. Even though, as of now, she says they've not told her what her conduct exactly was, we still have an we still have a rough idea of what exactly they're talking about. The mm -hmm. piercings also come in. Because, for example, I use myself for, as an example. When I was coming here, I have short hair. I dye my hair, I color my hair, or, you know, anyhow I want to do it, all, all the cuts that I want to do. But he said, for you to go on news, you can't take your colored hair on there. Mm. And it's not because they want to just feel free and do whatever they want to do. But there are rules that are governing the new space. Mm. And I have to adhere to it once I decide to go into that side. Mm. Maybe they are not written down rules that say that don't PS1, PS2, PS3, mm. PS4. But that is up to the association. I agree. And I think that's a brilliant point mm -hmm. from Adrian Noella. Mm -hmm. Well said. I don't disagree with the entirety mm. of this conversation. Mm. Listen, I belong to a particular culture and a particular jurisdiction. You have to play by the rules. There's so many different things that yeah. I would love to wear, but of mm -hmm. course I, I look at my surroundings mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I'm measured. So mm -hmm. I have to say that I am a rule follower. Mm -hmm. What we do know from history is that sometimes rule disruptors make change, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm not saying that we should throw the rules away. Of course, if I'm going to be represented by somebody in court, and you bring my public mm -hmm. defender, and I check the haircut. <laughs> I, check, I say, hey, case <laughs> You lost me, an me and my lawyer <laughs> all condemned. So I get that there are some professions that you have to, you know, sit up. If it's your passion, you play by the rules, even if you, won't, you don't want to. All I'm saying is that by this conversation, can the law school then provide a concrete set of rules? Because mm -hmm. right now what we're doing is judging it by morality. It's like, oh, wait, and shut down. But what is the concrete position? She mentioned in one of her videos mm -hmm. that when she is going to school and going 
going for lectures. She takes, she she takes, takes it the off. piercings off. Yes. Yes. That alone should tell you that this individual exactly. is aware. Mm -hmm. that She's aware that there's a difference between a professional but life. But Helen, listen, I can't no, no, no matter what, well, exactly. That is why, it's listen. It's a reason she, why you never why sit on TV or... Uh, create a YouTube Duh. channel and talk about your sex life. Oh, I slept I with this person. Might. It was like this. It was I like just might. You, you will not do that, Helen. I just But you might. will not. You will, I, but you, you, will you will not. not. You don't know that for Charlie, a Charlie, will you do that? Oh, now. Exactly. Know that exactly. Listen, listen but what I'm saying is that at the, if I ever decided, ladies, for example. No, I honestly think that they, they delayed in, in taking certain decisions or they should have let her know let her ahead know. of time, time. that yes. maybe, but she should have also known the moment she was taking off her earrings, she it, knew it, that it, no, no. No, it means that she knows that when she's at a professional place, she takes it off. Doesn't mean that she knows that it's but something But how, how can you be parading yourself lawyer. as a lawyer and then some, like, you're not just a lawyer in the courtroom. Oh, let's, let's, let's just be honest, you know. It's my opinion, I, 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 I And I respect that. You must. I respect you that. Must. But you know something? Sometimes also, let's look at where we find ourselves. Yes. Even mm. the, the people we think they are so westernized and all of that, mm. there are a bunch of people there who see the things that, oh, we see them going on. Um, recently, what, the one they did, what was it called? The LGBTQ plus yeah. something. I think that was but, a parade. But it was a West. parade, you get it. Mm. But there are people even in that jurisdiction who think that, like these things are wrong. Even in the West, if I can pitch exactly. in, exactly. Even mm. in the West, if you behave yourself in a certain way and you have a position as a lawyer or a doctor or or a respectable mm -hmm. job, it won't be accepted. No Thank matter you. how it you depends. look at it, Thank no, you. it won't be accepted. Well, I, I, I was born in London, so I'm also speaking from my experience. Well, mm. in, 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 it's just my opinion and my experience. I, I can as well. speak from personal as personal can I, experience. Yeah, as can as, I. A, I as don't can know. I. I've been in the in the biomedical field, and okay. even. Even as a biomedical lab technician, mm. being on social media and not doing anything mm -hmm. that is outside of the normal, they will look at you different because mm -hmm. you have a social media presence. Exactly. Then on top of that, if you have a very controversial social media presence, mm -hmm. that will make things even worse. They won't take you serious in the field that you're working in. Mm -hmm. Leave alone as a lawyer, when you're going to courts, you have to stand in front of judges. You have to defend a client. Exactly. They cannot take you serious if you behave mm -hmm. in a certain way. And uh, it's good that we are being open-minded. We need people who are also open-minded like yeah. yourself. Yeah. But yeah. unfortunately, majority of people are still very conservative. Mm -hmm. And we have to keep that in mind. And, and like Anita said, there's yeah. a time and a place for everything. And, exactly. and we have to look at the space that we, we find ourselves in. We all have things we do behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. For all you know, <laughs> those of us who look very holy, the things we do behind, and I am just reason saying, why it's behind the scenes. And exactly. There is a reason why. Because you know something, <laughs> me, I am not holy. <laughs> Helen is not holy. Charlie, you are not holy. Ajoy is not holy. We are not 100% mm -hmm. perfect. But once I find myself in a certain field, I have to abide by There are no rules. So the rules are not written. When you come to Media General, they will not sit you down and tell no. you, as a presenter, you have to wear this. You have, it is not done. But when it comes to the profession, she wants yeah. to find herself in. And it's very, very sad because she passed the exam. Mm -hmm. She's so good. Mm -hmm. She's so good. She's, She's very, very good. brilliant. Very, very intelligent brilliant. young lady. We and need her. We need I, her brains. <laughs> Honestly, no, we need... You know, for me, it's, it's about the human resources. as well. We have such fantastic brains. And like I said, I don't disagree entirely with mm. the ladies here. I just want to push the envelope. There has to be somebody that's disrupting things a little bit. You know, because I said we need the brains. We need the human resource. But, but where, where are we yeah, drawing exactly. the line? Where mm -hmm. are we going to draw the yeah. line? Because tomorrow... We'll draw it here yeah. now because now <laughs> we want to know more about you. Because we could go on <laughs> and on. I know, on. I know. <laughs> to bring a ruler and draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, this is what life is about. Healthy yes. discourse, yes. ladies. Yes. And, and, and we're all bold. We're all passionate. And that's what anybody could hope for. Yeah. We wish Amma Governor the best. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I, yeah. really, I really hope that yeah. Yeah. she finds a way out of this. And I'm mm. sure other people too have learned a lesson or two from yes. this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be about the law, the law yeah. profession. Being it a doctor, whatever yeah. field you find yourself in, I mean, there are certain things you can do it in your closet. In but, your closet. but once you come out, and it's actually in no, but, but, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> just to add to what you see, it, it just goes beyond your personality. Because mm -hmm. once course. you decide yes. to associate, like Anita yes. said, you of move course. out, you do something in your outside your gate. It, and it's not about being hypocritical. Yeah. Yeah. That is not being hypocritical. You're yeah. with, yeah. with the whole space. Mm -hmm. So it's just mm -hmm. that time. But I mean, like we said, we wish her all the best. Mm -hmm. and we, mm -hmm. we, we, we will see the end of this. But Charlie, you've been here. We want to know more about you, One thing I know already is that she's very feisty. Yeah. Charlie wants like a bite, though. What's your 
she mentioned she's a micro biomedical bio, bio, yeah biomedical lab tech. Ooh, yes. Nice. Yes. Where, where does that come in presenting well i stopped that job some time ago you did yes i Why? did, I did. Um, because, you know, the career as a biomedical lab tech, don't get me wrong, I'm very passionate about it. I mm -hmm. love everything around the medical field. But the career is not very challenging. It's Ooh. it's a very stagnant career, let's okay. let's put it that way. If you want comfort and, and you want stability in life, it's amazing. But if you want to grow and you want to do more for yourself, like me, I love traveling. Mm. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. So I love traveling. Um, so those are one of the things that I really wanted to include more in my life. So... Yes. Why did you decide to choose TV presenting? Because you could have done any other thing. Um, well, to be fair, I'm, I, I was always in the media space in, in Europe as well. Oh. So in the Benelux. Um, I've been doing reality TV for a very long mm, time. Wow. I used to represent my country as an international beauty queen. That's actually how I came to Ghana oh. for the first oh. time. Yeah. I had to represent Belgium here. And, you know, Ghana is amazing. There are so many beautiful things um, in Ghana, amazing people. So once, once I was starting to come to Ghana, I saw the opportunities. I saw it's, it's, it's amazing here to live and less stress. You know, it's it's less, less of a stress. rush. Less stress. It's less of a rush. Mm. Wait, which side? Which side of Ghana are you? Again? <laughs> <laughs> because the same one that we are in. But I mean, Charlie, share with us some of the most memorable moments you know in your career so far. Um, there are some memorable moments. Uh, something that I I'm very proud of. Okay, and this is gonna sound crazy to you guys. Oh, try um, us. So, <laughs> so um, two years ago, I was on the biggest reality show in the Benelux, and I was the first girl who was not a size zero. Let's put it that way. So, what was the not show again? It was Temptation Island. Temptation oh, Island. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, um, it was very controversial mm -hmm. for me to come on that show. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Disrupting things. I know. Right, right. Breaking the rules. I know, right? But there are limits, isn't Aww. it? <laughs> I wasn't doing anything crazy. <laughs> so, no, for that uh, instance, I, I, I'm really happy um, about the wave it brought because a lot of people were talking about it. Like, finally, we see representation of someone who yeah. is different than, than other people. And it was, a, it was quite a good thing. And then, of course, coming to Ghana across the globe and... and you know, finding myself here in the media space as well, it's a very, very beautiful thing that I'm very mm. grateful for. Yeah. Wow. What yeah. on the food? What's your favorite Ghanaian food? Um, I think the people that are following me on social media, they know I love Gobe. Hey! <laughs> What's your favorite joint? <laughs> How can we get the best Gobe? Honestly, I don't know. You don't know. No. So you are you're open to try. What's <laughs> yes, Gobe? I, I am open to try. Fufu, Banku. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Gobe wow. superior. Not, oh. not even beans and plantain. Gobe. <laughs> but what's your favorite food, Anita? Know, Gobe. Right. Wow. Welcome okay. okay. to the club. Yes. Okay. Yes. You, 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 know, you know your stuff. Mm, kapra, kapra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Very interesting conversation, ladies. Uh, but at this point, we'll take a quick commercial break. When we come back, um, that's why we have some games mm -hmm. to play. Hey. And of course, the winning team, you know. Yeah. We have to continue with what we know how to do best. Whether they like it or yes. Mm -hmm. And so do stay tuned. We'll be back shortly. Mm -hmm. It's the Lady Circle. <laughs> <laughs> 